for joining us here today at the Ford Center. My name is Jeff Smith. I'm an Assistant Commissioner of Communications for the Great Lakes Valley Conference. We want to welcome you to the Ford Center here in Evansville, Indiana to announce the return of GLVC men's and women's basketball tournaments right here to Evansville, Indiana. The 2013 men's and women's tournament will be held March 7th through the 10th right here at the Ford Center. The GLVC is one of the largest Division II conferences in the country and is currently represented by some of the, the top basketball programs in the country. Ten men's and two women's national championships are under the GLVC's umbrella, and we have sent either a men's or a women's team to the Elite Eight nearly every year, including Bellarmine University the past two years, resulting in the 2011 national championship. And while the Ford Center is home to the University of Evansville basketball programs, nearby Roberts Stadium hosted the GLVC basketball tournaments from 1999 to 2007, where the top nine attendance marks in GLVC tournament history were recorded. In addition, the city of Evansville is currently home to the defending GLVC men's basketball champion, the University of Southern Indiana. Joining us in attendance today from USI is Athletic Director John Mark Hall, Head Women's Basketball Coach Rick Stein, and Head Men's Basketball Coach Rodney Watson. On the dais with me today to speak about the GLVC's return to Evansville is GLVC Commissioner Jim Namovich and the Executive Director of the Evansville Convention and Visitors Bureau, Bob Warren. To hear first on the return of the GLVC Men's and Women's Basketball Tournaments here to Evansville, we welcome GLVC Commissioner Jim Namovich. Thank you, Jeff, and welcome to all of you who are in attendance uh, this morning. We certainly appreciate you coming out to the Ford Center for our announcement about the return of the GLVC basketball tournament to this wonderful facility in, in 2013. We do appreciate your attendance and your support of our event. Uh, we're extremely excited to be returning to Evansville. We had a great nine-year run with this particular event at Roberts Stadium, and there's a series of of reasons why this makes such a, a, a great community and venue for our for our event. Obviously with the Ford Center, a, a premier basketball venue and, and one of the constants that we look at when we're trying to determine neutral sites for our conference championships for all sports is to is be able to take the event to a facility that will really have a wow factor with our student athletes so that the championship experience that they will get at our GLVC tournaments hopefully will meet or exceed what they might expect, experience at an NCAA tournament. And for those senior student athletes who maybe this would be the last game they play, that they go out and really have a great memory about where they're playing. And we certainly feel that hosting our event at the Ford Center in Evansville will, will do just that. This is a great community uh, to support GLVC basketball. Um, right here locally, obviously, with the great success from the University of Southern Indiana and and having Rick and Rodney with us today. Uh, we appreciate them coming out uh, just down the road to be able to tap into the great following that Kentucky Wesleyan College has in Owensboro, and, and Roy Pickrell is with us today from their Sports Information Office. So, you know, we think uh, those factors along with, you know, Bellarmine just being down the road in Louisville and the great success they've had recently um, really will, will add to the environment, and we look forward to, to uh, promoting the event here in the community and having people come out uh, for the tournament. There is a very strong volunteer base, both through the uh, Sports Corporation here in Evansville and through our friends at the University of Southern Indiana. So another reason why this makes a great deal of sense for us. The support that we have received for our conference championships events in the past, including last spring when we were here with our baseball tournament, from the Convention and Visitors Bureau, from the uh, Evansville Sports Corporation, from local businesses, also makes it uh, much easier from our end to host an event that, that we want to put on for our student athletes, our parents, and their fans. So the, the local business community also plays a, a vital role in the success of our event. Oh, we spent the day yesterday uh, touring about four or five hotel properties. So the, the fact that we can put up our put our teams up in, in hotels with, with such nice accommodations while they're in town at affordable rates certainly makes that a win-win for our athletic directors and our coaches, uh, that it, it's uh, budget-friendly uh, with the number of restaurants in town. So. All those things play a, a, a factor in our decision making. Obviously, we're in a community where the media coverage is outstanding, and we appreciate those who are with us this morning. Uh, and there's plenty of other entertainment opportunities for parents and fans while they're in town. 
And I guess one of the other uh, contributing factors to having the, the basketball tournament return to Evansville is there will be no shortage of post-game officiating evaluations that fans will share with me and the GLVC staff. So uh, with the expertise from the fans in this area with officiating, we feel like we're being in pretty good stead with that. Our, our goal, obviously, is to enhance the championship experience for our student athletes. That's, that's goal number one, and, and we think we've taken a major step in that direction by being able to secure this facility next March. I think the other component of this tournament, I think Rodney and, and Rick will attest to this, is that uh, our conference tournament really makes you battle tested as you prepare for the NCAA national tournament. Uh, if you get through the, uh, the four days of this tournament and, and get through uh, playing three games against the level of competition you're gonna face, it really makes you well prepared the following weekend in the NCAA regional tournament. And for those teams that have advanced recently to the Elite Eight, I think they tell you that, that probably getting through the conference tournament may be as difficult a task as it is winning a national championship at an Elite Eight site. And that goes to the quality and the strength of our men's and women's basketball programs throughout the league. Uh, we, we plan on uh, returning to Evansville during the basketball season. At, at that point, uh, we'd like to be able to share more news regarding um, corporate sponsors, business partners, ticket information, and tournament format. But today, we wanted just to take the opportunity to say we are pleased to be returning to Evansville. And again, we thank you for your attendance this morning. Jeff? Thank you, Jim. At this time, we would also like to uh, to hear from a member of uh, the Evansville community. You know, uh, last last May, the uh, GLVC baseball championship uh, came down to Evansville, and you know, really uh, uh, put on a great uh, a great tournament here at Historic Boss Bossy Field. And a lot of times, you know, we look to those local partnerships uh, to help us, you know, really provide a, a wonderful championship feel. And and we found that. Uh, that great partnership with the Sports Corporation and with the Evansville uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau um, here today to uh, to talk a little bit about uh, uh, the impact that the GLVC will bring to, uh, to the city of Evansville is uh, Mr. Bob Warren. Uh, good morning and thank you all for being here. Um, on behalf of the Board of Commissioners of the Evansville Convention and Visitors Bureau and Sports Corp, and certainly the Ford Center. We are absolutely delighted uh, at the news of this returning uh, basketball event to Evansville, Indiana. Uh, you know, we, we're very blessed here in Evansville to have a wonderful community that has great universities. Uh, our sports initiatives uh, through not only our organization, but Sports Corp uh, and the Ford Center uh, are widely recognized. Uh, we feel as though we can uh, certainly host any level of event in this community. Uh, we are so happy uh, that GLVC has uh, decided to bring this tournament back. Uh, we always look at the economic impact of these events, and uh, certainly as this event uh, approaches, uh, we will be doing uh, an analysis of that. Uh, but just the prestige of having uh, GLVC, uh, the, the previous tournament that we did with the baseball at Bossy Field uh, was, was very nicely done on their behalf, uh, a wonderful event to, an ex to experience. Uh, we're going to continue through our Board of Com Commissioners uh, at the e EVC to continue working with GLVC and other sporting events that, uh, that we are attempting to attract to this great community we call Evansville. Um, uh, we're, we're excited to have you. Uh, I know that as we move forward, uh, you have the commitment of our organization and our Board of Commissioners uh, to continue supporting the initiatives of GLVC. And uh, with that, we'd just like to thank you for uh, making this announcement today and uh, know that you have partners here in this community. The Ford Center is such a tremendous place to do this, and it's been such an asset uh, to Evansville uh, since it's opened. And uh, we, we want to be uh, proud partners with GLVC in sponsoring this upcoming tournament. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. As Jim noted, uh, the GLVC does plan to return to the uh, Ford Center in here in, in local Evansville to, uh, uh, to discuss more details as the tournament uh, uh, details uh, come about as far as uh, tournament format, scheduling, uh, ticket prices, 
um, and, uh, and sponsorship. But uh, we do appreciate you all coming out today uh, to join us in the celebration of the GLVC's return to Evansville and the Ford Center for our uh, 2013 GLVC men's and women's basketball tournaments. Uh, this will conclude our, our press conference uh, today, uh, certainly uh, online with glvcsports.com, and uh, we will have uh, our uh, distinguished guests here available for one-on-one -on -one interviews with our assembled media. So thank you very much for your attendance today.